white trash and blue collar But I could change all that if I had a couple million dollars Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Just kidding. Um, not really, but because we've had a bit of a hiccup before because you guys weren't staying on your mount. You guys were being a little ridiculous. So we're trying out the new uh, setting, or the new case, to uh, for my GoPro. And um, we'll uh, see how it works. I don't know why the fuck this guy's here like this. But he is, and there's nothing we can do about it. So, we'll uh, catch you up on things that are going on in the future. So, I'll give you another future update here in a minute. Okay, so I put you guys at a new uh, angle. Um, haven't got anything on the CB yet, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. But the drivers out today are stupid. Stupid as shit. As usual. Or as they say in Ireland, shite. <laughs> or as they say down here in Texas, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Either one, it don't matter. But, anyway, Talk what do I, why do you shut up, Quentin? Why do I keep saying but? Like I'm gonna say something else, I'm not. Yeah. So, I guess we'll just uh, let you guys run for, watch our little uh, commute for right now. And I just got my freaking windshield wipers done, my windshield washer fluid to unfreeze, which is awesome. And then, uh, yeah, so we're currently uh, going to our grandmother's house to make sure we got everything in order for Pops' funeral. Our grandfather just died on Saturday of 20, on the, I think it was the 30th, Saturday the 30th of 2017. Uh, his name was uh, Willie Rice Sr., uh, more commonly known as... Uh, Tech Sergeant Willie Rice Sr. of the United States Air Force, Vietnam, retired. Um, he lived a good life. And what the funny thing is, is uh, he always wanted to tell, he's always told me and my dad that he's uh, before he goes or stops going down or he passes away or something, he wants to make one last trip to the ranch. And he's always told us, uh, just says, one more trip, I'm gonna make it one more trip and then I'm not gonna go anymore. One more trip and I'm not gonna go anymore. Or one more trip and I'll take a break and then I'll just go the next next year or something like that. And then one time he, when he got sick, he, or when he started not feeling well, he's like, well, I'm gonna get one last trip before I, if I die, I'm gonna get a couple more trips in. And he got one last trip in, which was the best thing that I think I could have helped him do because he wanted he bought an RV to drive down there and um, this is all it's it's kind of funny because when he drove the RV down there this RV is supposed to have airbags on airbags on top of the leaf spring so it stays smooth right and the funny thing was is when we got down there we were going through the road and we realized that this damn thing had no freaking shot airbags. The airbags weren't working. And so my grandfather's driving this damn RV up the, the main road of our ranch going over every bump and I'm sitting in this truck behind him and I could see him bouncing up and down in the chair. <laughs> it was the funniest damn thing I've ever seen. And um, it, was, it was just one of those things where you know, it's it's glad you got to do something with your with your loved one before he or she passed away. And one of the things I was happy about is that he had uh, got one last ranch trip in. And 
so next ranch trip we go um, I'm, I'm probably gonna take you guys with you I'm not a hundred percent sure yet uh, but we, we are gonna be doing a tribute uh, gun salute for him down there and of course at his funeral he'll get the full the five gun salute or the 21 gun salute or whichever one I know it's a gun salute it's a 21 shotgun salute. no it's not it's not a shotgun no it's a it's a 21 shot yeah, shot. 21 gun salute, basically. Yeah, it's where they each each sold each person shoots a certain amount of rounds. Yes. Anyways, and yeah, we could go into detail about that for hours, but we're not. So um, I just wanted to celebrate the uh, wonderful life he has led, and um, basically thank him for teaching me everything I know when it comes to survival techniques and how to sharpen knives, how to how to clean deer, basically. Um, how to drink whiskey like a man. <laughs> and not like some of them little pussies who make them in daiquiris nowadays. You guys know who I'm talking about. And um, it just taught me so much that I am... It, it pains me to say that smoking regular cigarettes does kill... But with technology so far along nowadays, it's, you know, it kind of saddens me to see the fact, or to know the fact that we could have done something to help him sooner, but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't know. But it's, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm fine, Quentin, I'm fine, I'm not crying. It's just, it's just hard to believe. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys are completely following along with me but I will be making a tribute with a video to my grandfather Hoorah. I think no he was in the I Air Force so. yeah he um, but I, I, I think he would like that and I'm getting one of his favorite guns that he loved he loved that he, he really never shot because he loved putting stuff on it and an AR-15 rifle that was issued in late seven or sixties, early seventies, around like a little around after Vietnam, the Vietnam War, and it's uh, I'm gonna take that down there and I'm gonna shoot it. So I'm gonna put some rounds through it. it it's not automatic; it is a semi-auto. But I will take you guys with me uh, when I go shoot that gun. Well, why would it be automatic? Automatic weapons. Well, are he, I think he had. I think he. I think he had an automatic license yeah. to or a license to own an automatic. Yeah, but he literally didn't need one. Well, he yeah, but it's um he no actually he did have a, a license to carry an automatic weapon or to yeah. own an automatic weapon because dad and him shot and dad and his buddy went down way before we started going down and shot a fully automatic AK-47 with the 30 round magazine and it emptied in like a couple seconds flat. Yeah, and and I'm not sure if you know this, but AKs can do some damage. Yeah, and this this gun he's give he's gonna be giving me, or I'm gonna be getting, is a 5.56, and which all ARs are, which most ARs you buy stock normally are 5.56, or if you buy it with the 7.6 chambered in 7.62, but it's just gonna be awesome. Um, it's gonna be awesome um, getting getting to shoot that gun for him. And for those who don't know what an AR is, it's an autom it's an automatic rifle. It, 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 that's what they're originally called, but this one I believe is semi-automatic. I don't know. I haven't held it enough to under to figure it out because it's always been in the case, and I've only seen it once, but I've never picked it up, and I only got to see it for a few seconds. But I know that's one of the guns he would have wanted me to have. So it's just one of those things where I'm just gonna fill you in on the inside of what is going on in my life and why I haven't. I've been trying uploading videos so frequently lately is because I just, it's hard for me to cope with the fact that he's gone. And the one thing that helps him is And the one thing that helps me is to make a video. It really does. So I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys sticking around. I'm sorry that you guys just fell, but um, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.